Today on the channel, over the last few months, I've been working on my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles display, and today I've collected a few things that I think might look okay. Let's find out. The spirit of the warrior will run for Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another unboxing and review video. But today we've got something entirely different. As you guys know, I'm working on my whole Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle universe. I'm building my display. I've got park scenes, I got dioramas, I got sewer layers, technodrones, uh, rooftop scenes. I got all kinds of stuff going on. And one thing I've been looking out for as I've been hitting the stores, as you guys see on the store hunts all the time, I'm always looking for things that might be able to be used in these displays. And that's where today's video comes in is there's a lot of other toy lines that maybe you and I don't collect out there that possibly could be integrated into some of our other toy lines and some of our toy line displays. These are a few things I've picked up. Figured we'd do them all in one unboxing. We'd see how they scale with some cartoon Ninja Turtles as that's the primary uh, world building I'm doing with the NECA cartoon line. But we'll see how they scale, see what all the fuss is about, as one might say. And then we'll hopefully be able to incorporate these into my displays and you'll see all that officially in my display tour, hopefully coming sometime soon. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, so then you can uh, find out when that video does drop, of course. So let's dig into it. And the first one I got at Walgreens for $3 on clearance, DuckTales Scrooge McDuck. Uh, I always like to believe in myself as a young Scrooge McDuck, as I like to dive, like he used to dive into his money. I dive into empty packaging, as I get so many messages from people that say, you give those see you laters, is it just sees of packages on the other side of the camera? Uh, it's not. I actually do clean up after every video, but uh, it's fun to pretend. I like to pretend myself jumping into empty packaging, but DuckTales, all-time favorite Disney cartoon from back in the day. They had some hits. They had some misses. Where I sit, as you guys know right here, but I always love Scrooge McDuck and the whole DuckTales gang. Saw this for three bucks. said, man, I don't collect DuckTales, and I don't even like this incarnation of DuckTales. I tried to watch it. Just no, it doesn't hold a candle to the old one for old Kyle here, but uh, had to pick this up for three bucks. I said, you know what? Maybe I can just put him as kind of an Easter egg in my Cartoon Ninja Turtle display. Uh, the artwork almost looks kind of the same. It's kind of got that kind of same feel to it. So I said, what the heck? So there's Scrooge McDuck. On the back, a few little things here. There's old Launchpad McQuack, a favorite of mine. Of course, you got Louie and Webby, Dewey and Huey, Flint Hart, Glomgold, and Donald Duck. You gotta collect them all. But I'm not gonna collect them all, but I will collect Donald, or Donald, Scrooge McDuck. There you go. See you later. See you later. He comes with a little something or another. Co of course, comes with his cane. You like that I did that? It just comes with a something or another. I'm just going to leave everybody guessing. What could it be? What does he come with? See you later. Get out of here. It looks like kind of like a, um, I don't know what this is, like an, an antique or an artifact or something like that. Probably on one of his crazy adventures, uh, he probably picked this up. But I more care about this Donald. I keep wanting to call him Donald Duck. What am I doing? Scrooge McDuck. Put some respect on Scrooge McDuck's name. But I could see why this was only down to $3 on clearance. There's not a whole lot of articulation here. There's very, very minimal articulation at the legs. Uh, nothing at the waist. Arms go up like a, a old school uh, Star Wars figure. And you got a little bit of a ball on the head. So not a ton of articulation here. A very cool cane, though. You never know when you might get reuse out of this cane. But, of course, I'll stick the cane in his hand. And he can't even really carry this, I don't think. Yeah, this doesn't even fit in his hand. doesn't fit anywhere. So I don't know what's up with that. But... Uh, it is Scrooge McDuck. This came out and it doesn't say. Well, never mind then. He stands up. Oh, okay. But let's grab a cartoon Raphael. Let's put these guys for a little size comparison. And you know what? I don't think that's so bad. You know, the turtles are supposed to be around five feet tall, give or take a few inches. I'd say Scrooge McDuck, I mean, that's about right scale-wise. So I think this will work. So uh, my display radar worked at Walgreens. Got to get a deal, as I always say. And you can buy the t-shirt at ProWrestlingTees.com. It will get you a deal if you wear the shirt. But I think that looks all right. I'm here for that. That works all day long. So I'm happy with that $3 purchase of Scrooge McDuck. It works with my Ninja Turtles. I'm going to Easter egg him in somewhere along the line. 
Now let's get over to this one. Let's take a look at this little Bill and Ted phone booth. And of course we all know Bill and Ted. Uh, I remember when the Bill and Ted movie first came out, I was all in on Bill and Ted. Heavy metal, that, that was Kyle, that was little Kyle. I might have been only seven or eight years old, but I was all in on Bill and Ted. Can't say I was in on the cartoon, can't say I was in on any of the toy lines, but when I saw this photo booth uh, on sale for $25, normally it's like 50 bucks, which seems pretty overpriced, but this was on sale for $25 at a toy store up in Minnesota on some of my travels. I said, you know what? I could use this somewhere, I think. So I picked it up. So there it is, Bill and Ted's. I love in the corner, instead of that Toy Biz logo, it says Fig Biz. That's a pretty cool play. You got a little bit of Wild Stallions going on down there and up there and all around. Uh, nice 90s graphics all throughout here. Of course, they do have figures for these guys. I've seen them in a lot of my local toy, uh, toy shops. I don't know. If I had a miscellaneous shelf, it wouldn't be a bad deal to have Bill and Ted. But I don't, I don't think I'm going to go down that road. There's the back. We got a big blurb. I don't know if I'm going to read that. We'll see what that says. Uh, we got a little cross sale down below. And then, of course, the photo booth. Fo phone booth, not photo booth. Uh, from Myths, Monsters, and Metals. In 1989, a most excellent dude named Rufus used a phone booth to traverse the circuits of time and help Sam Demas High schoolers Bill and Ted pass their exams by assembling an incredible cast of historical figures from Genghis Khan to Abraham Lincoln. Visiting the prehistoric area, era, medieval England and the Wild West along the way, thanks to Rufus, the triumphant duo would avoid military school, keep the band together, and ultimately save the future with their music as wild stallions. Party on with your five-inch... Fig Biz dudes sold separately and be excellent to each other. Now, time travel in this movie, and this is probably the greatest time travel movie of all time. As you guys know, I absolutely refuse to see Back to the Future. Haven't seen them, haven't seen them, so I'm going to say Bill and Ted, probably the best time space travel. Uh, going back to the West, I mean, what more could you want? Bill and Ted's got it all. Heavy metal music, sign me up all day once again. But let's pull this out. Let's see what's going. See what all the fuss is about. See if Kyle made a good idea here. A little packaging. See you later. Oh, plastic prison even got soft like protectors on the side here, but very cool. I think this might be another winner. I'm, I'm one for one. Scrooge McDuck worked out well. Let's see what this does. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. And now we're down to just a phone booth. One cool thing about this phone booth is the phone up here at the top uh, glow in the dark. So you get it, uh, some light on it, turn the lights off, and bam, that's glowing in the dark. So that's always a cool feature. What do we got? The door opens. Okay, so that's... That's about it. That's about all this does, really. <laughs> this is really just a prop piece. There's no playability. Of course, if this came back out in the 90s, back in the day, this thing would have a button on it. It would pop the door out. It would eject you out of here. It might have a little flashing light. Uh, they would have went all in on this. Instead, not a lot here. But that's okay for an adult collector putting this as a display, a little diorama piece. I mean, I could even customize this and cut this off if I really wanted to because this is the weird part of it. This is the Bill and Ted part. Outside of that, it just looks like a phone book, a phone booth. Collectibles by Incendium, Incendium Online. So it's got a little uh, action on the bottom here. So kind of is what it is. A little hard to open. There it is. But how does this work with a Ninja Turtle? And would this work on a street scene? I think this works okay. Uh, you know, the Ninja Turtle's five feet tall. You would have to think your normal phone booth has to have seven, eight feet tall. Probably seven feet tall, I would imagine, ceilings in it. So this might not scale 100%, uh, but I've seen worse. I've seen worse, and I think if you have this just off to the side on a NECA diorama and the guys are walking by it, it doesn't look out of place. So not as scaled well as well as Scrooge McDuck, but I would say pretty, pretty close. I'm okay. It probably scales better with Scrooge McDuck, actually. Uh, you put these guys together, that's pretty much where it needs to be. Um, so a little bit small for what I'm looking for, but still very, very cool. Uh, I don't, I'm not disappointed I bought this. I think I can get used for this. Even if I don't use it for that, I might be able to use it for Marvel Legends, let's say, or something, which actually, when I say that, the scale might be even worse on Marvel Legends, but still cool. Got to take a chance every once in a while. So now we turn our attention over to the tech deck side of things. Now, these are in the uh, Matchbox Hot Wheels section of the store. Uh, for a little bit, all the kids, you know, I have a daughter that's 11. A couple years ago, they were loving these little skateboards they'd play with and stuff. And that's where Tech Deck really shot off from. Uh, for me, it doesn't do anything at all for me. But I see clearance deals. You guys see the figure hunting videos. I see clearance out there. Well, I got these each for $2.99. Uh, Tech Deck, they do each come with a skateboard. But this one comes with a picnic table. This comes with a dumpster that can be on fire. A dumpster fire. 
Did anybody say hot garbage? Uh, that's what I'm seeing right here. But for $2.99 for each of these, I said that's worth a chance. Uh, my kids would probably play with these skateboards for about five minutes. That might be worth it. Uh, but I got those two. And then I got this big, uh, whoa, this is a big guy here. Transforming Tech Deck Pipeline. Modular skate park, board, and uh, yeah. But this was normally $25. And you can see right down here, Target, I got it on sale for $7.49. I thought this might look good as a little like sewer entrance, sewer layer, something like that. Uh, maybe this goes with my Ninja Turtle movie figures. I'm not exactly sure, but I thought, thought $7.49, it's worth taking a chance. You always got to take a chance every once in a while. But let's start with some of these Tech Deck ones. We'll start with this uh, hot dumpster fire first. See what's going on here. Uh, I don't know if these are still made, if you can still find these or not. I'm sure they're not very cheap on the secondary market, or not very expensive, I should say. See you later. Uh, whoa. See you later. See you later. Bam. There it goes. All right. First off, we get a skateboard. Flip, flip, flip. That's what I say every day as I get out of bed. Flip, flip, flip. Uh, Tech Deck skateboard. I guess you could technically put the turtles on there. They fit perfectly. That's a perfect match for the Ninja Turtles. And you know, these Tech Decks, there's tons and tons of them out there. So if you're looking for a skateboard for turtles or for something, these are in about every toy store there is. So uh, that works pretty good. So I'd say that a skateboard works fabulous. Yeah, fabulous is how that works. Uh, we have got skateboards with the turtle line before, but these skateboards actually flow a lot better, uh, are actually more skateboard-like. So very cool. I can't complain at all about that. Uh, then we get this little dumpster fire action, and it just clicks together very easily. This, this is like something we would have got from Jax, uh, Jax back in the day. They, of course, loved things like this in their accessory packs, and there it is. Very cool. So this is perfect. This is just a steel drum with the little flames at the top. What more could you want? There it is next to Raphael. Perfect. Once again, $2.99. Got to get a deal. This works perfectly with this. Uh, I'd say this one scales just absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> Keep wanting to say phenobulous. What is that a new word? Can we make it a word? Phenobulous? Uh, fabulous. It's just fabulous. So Scrooge McDuck, a winner. Dumpster fire, a winner. Phone booth, middle of the road. Not so bad though. But how about the picnic table? How about this one? get down to this let's see what's going on with this picnic table on the back it shows a few other things it shows like a barrier a sign a home ramp a traffic stop i don't know if any of the other accessories are quite as good as the two i picked up uh, maybe that sign might be okay i don't know but i think i got enough signs but let's see what we got going on here let's pull all this out whoa we're breaking apart see you later see you later all right, let's get all this out of here. See you later up high. Coming back like a boomerang. There it goes. All right, Kyle's got to be smarter than the table. And that's, you know, some people would argue that's not the case, but I'm going to fool you all. I fool everybody all the time. Kyle figures it out pretty quick, or maybe he doesn't. Who knows? But pop those bad boys in. Of course, you got to get the seats in. And we're going to have a picnic table. This is going to go great in my park scene diorama. I got kind of a background uh, of a park. Every park has a dumpster fire, doesn't it? Don't people set fire to dumpsters all the time in parks? But they also have picnic tables there for a nice pizza lunch. You throw a couple of uh, pizzas from the turtle sets in there, and you're off to the races. I don't know if he'll fit inside. Yeah, he does. Look at this. I would say, once again, we got a winner here. I just got to move the legs, get the articulation going. You know what I mean. You just play around with it a little bit. But you need somebody on the other side who's a little top-heavy. He'll pull the whole thing over. Uh, but that works. That is a picnic table that I would say is scaled perfectly with the Cartoon Ninja Turtles right here. Perfect scaling idea. Of course, we do get another skateboard. Uh, same as the other one, just different graphics on it. I guess you could just have a skateboard party. We can have them hanging on the wall in the sewer layer. These are the different modes of transportation for the turtles. Uh, but got to say, this is a winner. This is a winner. Picnic table, another winner. We're batting pretty good here, I would say. Uh, two winners, three winners for sure. And depending how you sit, uh, the phone booth may be somewhere in the middle. But I'm happy so far. Now it comes down to the big one. Not at least a big price point. $7.49, I think that's something we all could live with if we found this in the wild. See how hard he is to get out of the package. And hey, guess what? Not that hard. Pull that out. Looks like we got something going on here. Maybe... Nope, nothing in there. See you later. You can see. I keep thinking there's going to be accessories in here. See you later. Whoa, off the top of the screen. Nothing, nothing. 
But there it is on the back, kind of opens up as you can see. A little action there. Nope, we got the skateboard in here. This could be the coolest looking skateboard of the bunch so far. If I can get it out, jeez. See you later, goodbye. All right. I might have uh, dinged the skateboard a little bit, but that's the way it goes. It's the way it goes sometimes. See you later, off to the side. All right, now what do we do here? How does this work? Is there more stuff for me to unpack here and unbox and cut? And of course there is, there always is. See you later, what is that? I don't know. How does this thing even open? <laughs> like so, there we go. Oh, we got instructions, we got stuff, we got things flying around. See you later, cardboard piece, ramp, ramp. A little warning, very cool. See you later, goodbye. No, we got stickers. Oh, the bane of my existence. Santa Cruz, isn't that a heavy metal band I saw on the Motorhead Cruise back in the day? Looks like we got stickers with it, instructions. All right, well, I'm going to take this offline. I'm not going to stay here for three minutes putting this thing together and trying to figure it out. But let's put this together. Let's come back. Let's see what we got. All right, we're back. We got this Tech Deck uh, skate park put together, and it wasn't really all that hard. It was basically you open it up, and you put the ramps on the side. You put this little, uh, I don't know, gate up here and then you put this middle piece in and that's all it really took so this is an interesting one so to me i think i like this all closed up better than i like it like this this is great if you're a little kid playing with your skateboards your matchbox cars your hot wheels whatever you can take it up off of here you can do some evil knievel jumps you could be on your way uh, that's cool enough there is this little guardrail piece that puts in there's this divider piece that gets put in uh, but this is for more playability. To do this whole thing, you could be in here going around like a skate park. And old Kyle, he knows all about skate parks. When he was, you know, 8, 9, 10 years old, I was all about skateboards. And my neighbor actually had a big skate ramp in his backyard that his parents had for him, which was really cool and fun for the neighborhood until that no good babysitter. Yes, Kyle had to stay home. The babysitter took him and his sister to the park. She took my skateboard for whatever reason, and guess what? She left it at the park. Yeah, just left it there. And it was a cool werewolf uh, skate deck. Gone. Totally lost forever. Kyle never got on her skateboard. Still hot about it to this day. Let's not bring it up. But this, great if you're a kid. For me, for what I'm looking for, not so much. But now, once again, this is only $7.49. So you take this off. You pop off this ramp. You pop off this ramp. You pop off this mid piece. You fold this back up. And this is more of what I'm looking for, I would say. Uh, does this open? And it doesn't open. Now, I wish this was on a hinge. That would have been better. If this was a hinge that could be open or something like that, I would enjoy it a lot more. This would be great if you could build kind of a diorama around it where you're just seeing the circle part and maybe there's, you know, whatever, sewer around these sides or something. But scale-wise, this looks pretty good for a Ninja Turtle. Uh, it definitely looks good, but I just don't know where I'm going to put it. We're going to have to play around with this one. Uh, but $7.49, I don't think I took too much of a leap there, too much of a chance. But it looks much better in this configuration for what I want it to be for. This did come with some stickers. I, I'm a sucker for a sticker all the time. And I guess you can plop these on here if you want to. And you can look really cool like you're in the 80s skateboarding in L.A. or something like that. But... It's all right. It's all right. I think this is probably my least favorite of the bunch. I had higher hopes, but that's when you got to take chances. When you're trying to do these things, you're trying to use other toy lines to work with other toy lines. It doesn't always go great as we saw today. So I would say this one didn't work so hot. The phone booth, middle of the road. Scrooge McDuck, sign me up all day. Picnic table, sign me up all day. Dumpster fire, sign me up all day. Skateboards, sign me up all day. I think we did pretty good for ourselves here. Taking some chances here in 3, 6, uh, 14, 15, 16, 22, 40 bucks, right around the $40 mark for all this stuff. I don't think was too bad of an investment for what I ended up getting. But you guys tell me in the comments what your thoughts are. Is there any great things you took chances on? Was there anything as a kid that you used from one toy line with the other? I really regret, this is one of the biggest regrets I have of my time playing with toys as a kid. I was such a purist. G.I. Joe stuff stayed with G.I. Joe. X-Men stuff stayed with X-Men. DC stuff stayed with DC. Wrestling stayed with wrestling. I think I could have had a lot more fun as a kid if I would have crossed over some things, some vehicles, maybe had you know, a, a He-Man G.I. Joe crossover or whatever it might have been. Uh, I should have probably did Transformers G.I. Joe crossover. That maybe would have made some more sense. 
Uh, but I didn't do any of that kind of stuff. And I really do regret it. I mean, it's not one of the biggest regrets in the world. But I remember how much, how, I th always think, how much more fun could I have had as a little kid doing some of that instead of being such a crazy purist as a child. But it is what it is. But I'd love to hear your stories about buying stuff like this, your crossovers, things like that. Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, you made it this far. You might as well like the video. Give it a old thumbs up. Subscribe, hit the old notification bell. Of course, follow along on all the fun on Patreon. Uh, every single day, we got new videos, new content on there, above and beyond what we have on YouTube. Uh, tons of videos, days, weeks, months early at, at certain time frames, uh, exclusive videos, a lot going on on the Patreon. So check that out in the link in the description below. And then if you need to reach out, make sure you subscribe on Twitter, SirPaul64, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Support the channel. So for a little magical a toy adventure today, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.